Hey everyone, my name's Corinne. Welcome to this upper body strength workout. Today we are going to target our shoulders, our chest, our triceps and our biceps using a set of dumbbells and our body weight. Our first block is a tricep performed for three rounds including chest flies, push-ups, frontal and lateral raises. So I'd recommend a set of medium and light dumbbells. We are going to start on the floor. Our first exercise will be chest flies. With one dumbbell in each hand, extend your arms above your chest with your palms facing each other. With a slight bend in your elbows, lower your arms out to the sides and then bring your arms back together, squeezing your chest at the top. Always bring the dumbbells down with control, so not letting gravity take over and keep your wrist strong so that your knuckles aren't rolling back. have 10 seconds to transition into a push-up with your hands on top of the dumbbells or on the floor. Set yourself up in a strong plank position and then bend your elbows to lower your chest to the floor and then re-extend back to your plank. If you need to modify, feel free to put your knees down. Make sure your head is in line with your spine and your body is moving in one piece. As you bend your elbows, make sure your elbows are pointing back like an arrow. The last exercise in the tricep is a front to lateral raise. Lift and lower the weight slowly, exhaling on the way up and inhaling on the way down. Just like the chest flies, you want to maintain a slight bend in your elbows to reduce pressure on your joints. You also want to keep your abs braced to stabilize your body so you're not leaning or swaying. This is a great combo to isolate the front and sides of your shoulders. Yes, yes, well done. One round down and two more to go. You now have 45 seconds to rest and reset before we go again. This is where we have a little reflection. How did you get on on that round? Were you happy with your weights? Did your weights challenge you in an appropriate way? You want to feel the challenge, but not so much that your form is being compensated. So if you need to make any adjustments, please go and do so. If you're happy with how that round went, let's start setting up for round two. In about 12 seconds, we'll start over with the chest flies. Let's be really precise and make sure both the right and left side are working equally. Long hair killer in my villa, bitch, I made hate. Used to play to play, now I think I'm raging now. She wanna lay me down, I'ma need you to hold me all the way down. Hold it down for me, say you down for me, say you. Say hold it all the way down, hold it down for me, hold it down for me. Say say hold it all the way down, say you down for me, hold it down for me. Say say hold it all the way down, hold it down for me, say down for me. Wait, okay. Now I really don't like a sin me. Saw drip, I got the recipe, and you can find me where that pressure be. I've been levitated in the preparation. I've been meditated. I've been hella patient. I'm so tired of waiting. I got right here with my Let's move on to the push ups. In case you're wondering, placing your hands on top of the dumbbells allows you to move your body through a greater range and therefore creates more challenge. However, 
if you have dumbbells that roll, it may not be the most appropriate option. So just choose what works for you today. Wherever you are, just make sure your core muscles are involved so your glutes squeeze and your abs braced. Hold it down for me, say you down for me, say you, say you, hold it all the way down. Hold it down for me, hold it down for me, say you, say you, hold it all the way down. Say you down for me, hold it down for me, say you, say you, hold it all the way down. Hold it down for me, say you down for me. Last one in this round is the front and lateral raise. Use slightly lighter weights as you want to ensure your form is on point and of course not strain your shoulders. If you need to, you can also move one arm at a time. This is a great option to take if you're starting to get tired but want to keep your body moving. Told you you so extra but I know I'm the same Love me in spite of my trauma Give me what I need instead of the drama Cause when it pop off it's like oh my All good all day but the night We be going so hard on the flip side So tell me we'll be on a day, babe I could keep that same energy When you go low I We have made it to the final round. So again, you've got 45 seconds to rest and reset. Embrace it and enjoy it because trust me, round three is going to be super challenging. Now, remember, the workout always begins at the point where it starts to challenge you. So keep that in mind as you're moving through the next set. We could do it all night. We could go on. Calls go to voicemail I block you so I don't raise hell Should the talk through it in detail I separate ways ain't go in well Exercise one, chest flies. When it comes to weightlifting, it's always about quality reps. We are steady, we are stable, and we're in full control. I could keep that same energy. When you go low, I go low too. But you'd rather stay high, I know you. Can we stay high, babe? I'd rather be on that wave. Trying to control our emotions. On a rise out of passion, we can share love in the ocean. But if you wanna go insane, either way, baby, we could go on. We could do it all night. We could go all night, all night. Exercise two push ups. Use a full range of movement and try to bring the tip of your nose down towards the floor. Okay, I'm admitting that a couple things I said got acidic in the town and the presence I get careless. Long as you know I come with imperfections When you look at me, you see the soul through my flesh You something special Know you looking bomb, the way you dress and gone Flex and hold it still and let my mind digest You got the leverage, you got the upper handle on the situation You worthy of a million more of the storms that we weather We fight retreating this, but you trying to kill the cycle When nobody's stressing that body like me, I know the way you like it I treat you like a queen, run the castle, you a treasure huh? Feel like you setting fire to my desire for the pleasure You a gem, got me blim, let's make amends No, you can't, I'm out here Trying to control if we on a rise out of passion We can share love in the ocean But if you wanna go insane either way, baby Exercise 3, front and lateral raise Last one in this block, so enjoy it and celebrate that after this we are moving on Remember to take your time, quality reps only
celebrate that you have made it through your first block of exercises. That was three epic rounds dedicated to our chest, triceps and shoulders. In the next block, we have a superset. This means we have two exercises performed back to back and today we're going to perform two rounds. We are going in with our arms. The first exercise will be bicep curls and the second exercise will be overhead tricep extension. So we're working in the front and the back of the arms. Let's set up for our bicep curls. One dumbbell in each hand. When the bell goes, curl the dumbbells up to your shoulders. Keep your palms facing forward and your elbows close to your torso. Keep your shoulders and your torso nice and stable, so lots of core engagement. The movement is at your elbow joint. Everything else is still as a statue. Moving on to tricep extensions. This can be done with one or two dumbbells. Arms overhead, slowly bend your elbows and lower the dumbbells towards your shoulders. You re-extend your elbows and then repeat again. Make sure your elbows aren't splaying out to the side. So think elbows pointing forwards. And just do a quick check that your lower back isn't in a big exaggerated arch. Take a break, 45 seconds rest, you deserve it. And then of course, we're gonna go again for one more round. Let's be sure to move mindfully, especially on those bicep curls. Before you lift right, mentally connect to your biceps. Think about the muscles, think about what you wanna feel, and then move. When you're doing exercise, it should almost feel like a meditation. You are focused, you are present and can feel everything. I also think it is so important to have a moment in the day, even if it's just 20 minutes, to really tune in and focus on yourself. So let's get into it. Round two, bicep curls. Moving on to those tricep extensions. Well done, that is your second block of exercises complete. We are now on our final block and the structure is going to be the same. It's another superset performed for two rounds. 
we're going to really focus on our shoulders and the exercises will be a scapula push-up and an Arnold press. The scapula push-up is an amazing exercise for building stability, especially around the shoulder blades, which is crucial for any plank-based exercises. So let's talk about it and get you set up. It starts in a plank. Without bending your elbows, squeeze your shoulder blades together and lower your chest slightly. From there, you push your hands actively into the mat to spread your shoulder blades apart and that brings you back to the start position. Exercise two is the Arnold press. Hold the dumbbells in line with your chest with your palms facing you. As you press the dumbbells overhead, rotate your palms outwards till they face forwards at the top. Reverse the motion to return to the start position and repeat. Well done, take a rest. I know if you've chosen the right weight, that would not have been easy. Now, the good news is we are approaching our final round, so nothing to do after this. Stretch out, reset, drink water, do whatever you need to do, and let's make sure this last round is the best possible round. Exercise one, scapular push-up. So you are retracting the shoulders and then as you push into the mat, you are protracting. Have a feeling of your shoulders moving backwards and forwards. Last but never least, we have the Arnold Press. And to switch things up, let's try alternating, one arm at a time. There's always one dumbbell overhead and one dumbbell coming down. This variation is great for challenging your obliques as there will be a tendency to want to twist. My challenge for you is to keep your torso as stable as possible. There's 30 seconds left. Let's make every single rep count. have made it to the end of today's upper body workout well done as always thank your amazing body for getting you through that and let's come into a very quick stretch interlace your fingers behind your back and just start to open up your chest and shoulders 
open and close your arms a couple of times and then bring your left arm across your chest to stretch out your shoulders again. Repeat again on the opposite side. It always amazes me just how hard I work in a 20 minute workout. It's always a reminder as well that it's not about quantity, but instead about quality. I really hope you enjoyed this workout. It was a pleasure to train with you today. Be sure to eat well, sleep well, and I'll see you again on the mat soon.